This week from Crumble Cookies, we're gonna be trying the chocolate cake, the sugar featuring mother's circus animal, the peanut butter banana, and Kentucky butter cake. So before we start eating, let's discuss Let's discuss the the app. Yeah, they listed a mystery cookie um, that was supposed to be there. So you click on it and normally it shows you a map and shows you what cookies are gonna be where. Never shows any cookies on the map. So I went in, there's no mystery cookie on the order thing on their kiosk inside. So So I kept telling Kevin And it's on the on the app where you when you click on order to, for pickup, it's on the app either. So it's on the list, but it's not on anywhere to where you can actually get one. So I don't so know what it is. I told Kevin, I said, the website doesn't list a mystery cookie. The it, Their Instagram didn't list a mystery cookie, but literally the mystery cookie was showing up on the app. And the it website. didn't even go, it, it didn't even, it, it went away. It went away for a little bit and then it came back. It's on the website. It was a mystery cookie. Now, see, I looked on the website. It's, it's there this morning. Oh, it, so but there's no way to click on it to see what it is because it says go to the app. So, so there's no mystery cookie. I'm just yeah. letting you know. Or if there is, it'll come later in the week and we don't know. Yeah, about it. we don't know about <laughs> it because we go on Monday. Okay, so we're going to try the chocolate cake first. Which and looks really good. Whoever did uh, put the icing on top. There's a girl that's excellent at doing the frosting. Well, she did a fine job. She, she is always... Um, very fair with the frosting and she does a really good job of doing the frosting it just looks very neat kevin's all about being fair he wants i a, want a good old cover she of looks like she would be good at uh cake Cakes decorating yeah. yeah so this is literally chocolate a uh, chocolate cookie with chocolate frosting and chocolate curls chocolate 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 That literally tastes like chocolate cake in mm -hmm. the cookie form. Mm -hmm. It's got the texture of cookie, mm -hmm. but boy, does it taste just like a chocolate cake. Uh -huh. Not brownie, not bitter. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it tastes like chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. If you were to go buy it yourself and make it and put it into cookie form, that's what it tastes like. Mm. And the, really good. the um, frosting on top, tastes just like it's just you're not having to go to the trouble yourself um i think it's delicious it's mm -hmm. not bitter it's no. not um, it ends on a little bit of a not dark like in it's not like devil's food it's not that kind of dark but it is a little darker than like a milk chocolate yes it's not it's kind of like in between yeah, milk and like dark sweet. yeah but it, it's it's a very nice it literally tastes like chocolate yeah. my guess is that's probably going to be the least sweet of the bunch here but i could be surprised i don't know I don't know. That wouldn't be my guess. You I'm going to gonna gonna guess be... this one, but I, I could know. be wrong. We'll this is the sugar featuring Mother Circus Animal. It's a rainbow sprinkles cookie. So it has those sprinkles all throughout the cookie with white chips, a Mother's Original Circus Animal cookie on the top, and rainbow sprinkles on the I top. I didn't hold the chocolate up just so you can see what it looks like inside. It's a nice thick cookie. Mm -hmm. They cut really nice too. It's a denser cookie, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It said for sure less sweet. Mm -hmm. Um, the reason is if they had put more frosting on the top. Yeah, it's very thin. Mm -hmm. It's a very very thin layer. It's also a crisper cookie. Mm -hmm. It's like it bakes longer. Um. But ultimately, it tastes like a sugar cookie. Yeah, I like the texture. Mm -hmm. The flavor, though, I've never been a fan of sugar cookies, though. This is sugar cookie, just like a traditional sugar cookie. It's a sugar cookie. cookie. Yeah. That's what it is. It, uh, but it's you know, pretty. That, that glaze that I wouldn't even call it a frosting, I'd almost call it a glaze. Because it's um, so thin. Or icing. Um, that probably more of an icing than anything. That it is very thin, like uh, a lot of a lot of uh, those um, animal cookies are, just a thin layer. Yes. So. So they duplicated it well. <laughs> I do like it. I like it too. If you like a regular sugar cookie, yeah. that's what that tastes like. Yeah. That's exactly what that it's, tastes like. It's not as sweet as like the pink sugar cookie. The pink sugar cookie is a sweeter cookie, mm -hmm. but this is just a different. 
different yeah. kind of sugar. It's nice, but the chocolate cake is sweeter. Oh, yeah. Because it has more yeah. on, on top. I agree. And it's got a deeper flavor, too. Now, this one is new this week. Now, do you um, want some of the banana, or you just want me to cut next to it? Just cut next to it. Is that the only place? Let me see if that's the only There's place. There's banana frosting, I think. Oh, let's see. Peanut butter banana. Yeah. Oatmeal cookie. Yeah, it's, yeah. It says it's a dense oatmeal cookie. Yeah. Oatmeal cookie with <laughs> banana frosting. Where do you get banana frosting? Can you buy banana frosting? Or make it. <laughs> oatmeal cookie with banana frosting, peanut butter drizzle, and a dried banana chip. Yeah. So the only place where the peanut butter is, it sounds it's like, the is the drizzle. Unless okay. it's in the oatmeal cookie. I don't know. I know. It's cold. Mm -hmm. It reminds you a little bit of the no bake cookies. Mm -hmm. Very texture wise, it's very, 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 very dense. Very dense, yeah. It, yeah, if you've ever made the peanut butter no bake cookies where you put them out on the piece of wax paper or parchment paper. Like cool. Yeah. It, um, the, the flavor will remind you of that. I'm not but, a fan of that. Um, I'm not either. Mm -hmm. And I don't even want to finish this bite. No. It's just I, not worth it. I don't know if it's the banana or the oatmeal. I think it might be the banana. For me, it's a, it's a, a lot of the texture thing. It's so very, very dense. it's very thick. And normally you would think, oh, that's terrific. It's a thick cookie. But it's cold. It's cold and thick and dense. Hmm. And I tell you what, the banana frosting by itself mm -hmm. is actually tastes like a you're eating a banana. Mm -hmm. But you mix it with the peanut butter and the oatmeal, and it's just something. Yeah, it's not. It's not my. It's not a love for me. It's all about the texture for me. It's, it's, um, it's very dense. It's all about that texture, and I just. It's just too. It's just too dense. Yeah. If it had been. Um, you know, when you make no bake cookies, they're, they're scalding hot and you lay them out on your parchment paper and they have to cool, but they're not cold. They're mm -hmm. not. So the that, temperature. so that thickness, and then you put it in the refrigerator. It, to me, it's just too much. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if you let it, let it set out and warm up a little bit, yes. it might be, or put it in the microwave for five yes. seconds or four seconds. It might be better, but and I've as said it that, is right now, it's very, very dense. I've said that during these videos before I've said when they've been cold, some of you have said, Oh, well I put it in the microwave and that's great. And, and I appreciate you saying that, but we're trying them the way that crumble intended you that's to the way they serve them. the way they serve them. And that's why we do it this way. So mm -hmm. this, this one in particular might be better if you put it in the microwave for right. about 15, well, about 10 seconds. Uh, they don't even need that, be five. Okay. <laughs> Kevin knows the microwave I'm more the microwave than me. Expert. I do not use the microwave very often. You know what this reminds me of? This, go ahead and read what it is. I'm sorry. I'll no, I bet you we're going to agree. Say what it is. Okay. Yeah. Because visually, I bet you anything we're going to agree. Okay. This is a Kentucky butter cake. I don't want to cut it. You need to hold it up. This will work. Okay, it's a yellow butter cake cookie smothered, and I hate it when they use that word. It's pretty smothered. Yes, but I just don't like that word. <laughs> smothered with a buttery glaze. Um, um, I just don't like that word. Anyway, yellow butter cake with a buttery glaze. Donut stick. Yes! Yes, it's it looks identical to a if you've ever bought the little Debbie or whatever donut sticks, that's exactly yeah, what it that looks, looks exactly like. the same color, the same kind of bumpy texture. It is dead on a donut stick. Yeah, I'm glad we okay. the same thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Better than a donut stick though. Mm-hmm. That one's a little dense too. It is, but it's so soft. Mm -hmm. Whereas the that oak one, that mm -hmm. banana one, it was like compressed. <laughs> to me, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's not as sweet as a donut stick, though. No, it doesn't have the sweetness. It almost reminds you of the taste of cornbread. I know. That's what I think too. Like a, a yellow cornmeal, like a jiffy corn muffin. Uh -huh. It almost it has that flavor. It doesn't quite have that corny flavor that a jiffy corn muffin does. No, but, but I completely agree with it's, you. It's kind of leaning that direction. It, it, it does. It would remind you if you've ever had a jiffy corn muffin. It would remind mm -hmm. you of that. Yep. Yeah. Um. Well, that the 
honestly, the sweetest one here is probably that one. The Kentucky cake. But You I, think? Because I didn't think um, it was that sweet at all. Well, none of them are really sweet if you think about it. The chocolate cake is probably... And I take it back. The chocolate cake is probably the sweetest. I think the chocolate cake is yeah. the sweetest, which is surprising because it's darker. It's no, and I would have thought that would have been one of the least sweet ones, but because of the frosting and stuff, they did a good job on it. Yeah, so. the um, the Kentucky butter, it is good, but it, it does not have a lot of sweetness. So if yeah, you're looking for a, a cookie, um, it it's softer. Um, I would I personally would just not get that. Um, the peanut butter the banana. peanut butter banana. I would not I would do that either. again. Yeah. Um, it's Unless you were to heat it up and loosen some of those oats up, it's it's just it too dense. It's it's cold, dense. It's, yeah. it's I agree. It's and the flavor was a little almost weird leaning too. towards hard yeah. because it's so dense. And I didn't like the flavor that much. Uh uh. No, which surprises me. Um, I'm gonna say my number one this week is the chocolate. Mine the too. chocolate cake. Mine um, yeah. I get chocolate Kentucky butter cake. Then if I had to pick another one, I would go with the um, the chocolate chip. the chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, the regular chocolate. I chip. I wouldn't get any of the other ones. Yeah, I, would just get I mean I'm saying out of these four, I would do chocolate and then Kentucky butter, and then if I was pressed, I would get the animal cracker one, and I wouldn't get that one at all. But they do have the pink sugar and the chocolate chip. Yeah. So let, if they come out with a mystery later on, they might. You know. Let's uh, throw the do something we usually don't do. Let's throw the pink sugar, which has an almond flavor. Let's throw that and the chocolate chip in this four. What's your number one? Um, I'd still get the chocolate chip. Okay, because I would get the chocolate chip. And then I, I get chocolate chip is. I love that the milk, um, the milk chocolate chip. When they use those milk chocolate chips, I love it. I think yeah, it's absolutely delicious. So no, I would still get, get the, that first. I would still get the chocolate cake. I'm, and I would be torn between the chocolate chip and the butter cake because I really do like the butter cake because I always love Jiffy Muffins. So yeah, but. I don't. No, I do too. Um, yeah. So let us know. Let us know what you're getting this week. And I would. I'm curious. You know the the, um, the peanut butter banana. It's a new cookie this mm -hmm. week, so it's brand new. Nobody's ever had it before. And they, every store is different. So I, yeah, I want to hear what you think. Do you like it? Do, did you think? Uh, did you did you like the flavor of the cookie? Did you like the texture? What did you think? Was yours really really thick and dense and, and cold? Of course, uh, they're all going to be cold, I'm sure. But if not, if you microwave it, if you microwave it, then I don't care. But if you try it the way they intend you to eat it, that's cold. What did you think of that texture? Did you like it? Would you like to see them have it again? I would be curious. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Lots of pictures will be at the end and thanks for watching.